Okay, I'm reloaded. We got London on the team. Tell me, do you know the feeling? Tell me, do you know the feeling? You look up and you ain't got no feeling. Want me in a Lambo? Nah. Okay. You look down, yeah. Okay. Tell me, do you know the film? Looking up, you know. Them the hitchhikers. What? You gotta get Tim's at least. Fuck the red wing, bro. Red wings, bro. Ain't no red wings. Ass kicking boots. I'll show you how they work if you want to see them. Yeah, I didn't even know. Like, look at him. He's in work boots. He's like, you see these right here? No, nobody even know. He's like, they're ass kicking boots. You want to try them out? I told him when I first met him. He was like, who the fuck's this guy? I'm gonna get you some Yeezys for Christmas. I don't what color Yeezy. you like? I don't want Yeezys for free. I got, I got <laughs> oh, it's snaps. Nick, you doing this one? All right, Brock's got this one. So, so let me move out. We'll get so you. So you in, prefer Brock. some red wings? I wear red wings, bro. Seven days a week. Seven days a week, red wings. That's how they feel. That's a working man's boot. You know what they're made for running. Why the fuck are you always running? I'm black. Huh? <laughs> I, I ain't even run. gonna say nothing. I gotta run. I, ain't gonna I say gotta nothing. run, man. Listen. I ain't even say nothing. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> Turn the camera off. I'll tell you <laughs> Yo. This dude wants to buy this thing? Right. <laughs> he need a monofine glass mirror. <laughs> say it, my fucker. <laughs> Don't make me get the fuck out. <laughs> I should look good. Woo! You about to hit a bing bing boom. Oh my god! Oh! Fumble! Right, you got it. All oh, them 18 wheelers, you can't park a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> whip it, whip it! Oh man, like father, like son. Park it straight that way. <laughs> Come on, folks. Whip it around, facing that way. All the way. You got it? Yeah, I found the Mustang key. Yo, you heard what he said? What he said? Digital? What? He said that all them 18 wheelers can't park a Lamborghini. <laughs> park that bitch tonight. <laughs> took you about five times. Set up. We, One time. We're going to take, we gonna take it. We're going to shake on it. It's a good, it's a, it's a good little... Yeah, Driving something. lesson? Yeah. But like father, like son. Yeah. <laughs> you good? Coming, you're good. <laughs> you can't see anything. Come back. Yeah. <laughs> Check the chair. I got mirrors all over. This already looks sexy. Yeah. Call me Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do like Peter Parker. I'm trying to tell him, man. He don't listen. <laughs> you like the new, the new Spider Man. I'm telling him, he don't listen. Yeah, to do. I ain't gonna lie. Listen, Marvel, if you need a new actor, you got him. We got a new editor and we got new Spider Man. For real. The new Spider Man's got some more muscle, though. I'm a, um, I'm a what's the name, though? I'm gonna put a Spider Man face over your face, so stay still, real quick. Alright, bet. Boom. Mm. Alright, you're now Spider Man. <laughs> Alright, let's rock. Let's load up. Right. Oh, you see, you see that shit right there? Look, look, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. He got him. I was gonna warn him. It was too late. <laughs> you would never guess he's Puerto Rican. Uh, nah, yeah. I, 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 hell no, bro. He's Hispanic. He's yeah. country as hell. He said, he's, "Oh my God, you got me right there." <laughs> 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 we gonna make a driveway. I'm gonna make a driveway. <laughs> These y'all ain't country. They got little slang in y'all. Nah. No. Nah, no country. That look like, that look like oh, but you got the fake, fake country people in, in Jersey, bro. Don't make no sense. <laughs> you got. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, All right, what else we get now? Who's driving digital? You know how you know how to drive motorcycles or no? No, no man, I, I don't drive stick in the yeah. car. Well, you <laughs> drive drive to, um drive him in the um in the slingshot. All right, bet. All right, you. I don't even trust you. <laughs> I don't know how to drive this shit either. You can't bring the lamp. You don't know how to drive a bike? Oops. Not a bike. Give him an automatic one. Oh. You don't know how to ride for real? I never drove. I never drove a street bike before. You don't know how to drive? You know? Hmm? Not ride your bike? Yeah. Same shit. All right. <laughs> he tells me that now, bro. Hard cut to me fucking sliding all over the road, <laughs> crashing and shit. Just get a helmet. Your bike? Yeah. Like really good? Lance. Lance. Let me tell you. I'm better something. on a quad. I'll tell you that. Yeah, Lance. <laughs> 
if you uh, if you crash, you're right into the food roof, bro. They gonna call it crash dummy. That's an expensive view count right, right. there. So, this is uh, episode number 50. This is uh, man, I five on that one, bro. I'm hey. back. This is 50, back. vlogs 50. Damn, that shit is, it's kind of incredible. He don't, I could tell he don't. Don't make him ride something if you don't crash. I don't want to see him get I just don't know how, so he, I don't yeah, want to risk it. Yeah, he ain't got no clue. Yeah, you're nah, good dog. I don't know what he's doing that, yeah, dude. Yeah, nah, you'll be Not hating sure life. If you fall on asphalt, you'll be hating life. Man. You about, you, you about to hold on to Omi, all right? All right, bet. Then we gonna, when you get off, we gonna ask you how to I might fly him. off. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Do you now ride a bike? An uh, automatic bike. <laughs> He's riding slingshot. Yeah, but I thought if he could ride a bike, he could take the slingshot. He'd have a you don't have an automatic bike? You can't ride a bike. I thought we taught you. I know you. how to ride. I'm good money. Yeah, he can't ride a monkey. Oh, God, I didn't shit. know it was it was it was it was more. You know it was raining earlier. Damn, I wish it was legal. Yeah, he can ride. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Digital bike life. Twelve o'clock, boys. <laughs> I won't waste my time no more Don't got the patience I guess it's back to the basics I can't go back broke, oh no Got the shit out the mud We used to serve out the basement If you ever help me back From getting to the rap to school Cause I'ma get the money I ain't never looking back You hit the brake No, I didn't hit the brake uh, He shut it off on you Do you have, do you have this same one? Coming, I, I wonder what Cummings With the big dash, but I want a dually Yes, I'll double check. How about a 2020? Tw I want a 2020 too. It's a 19. 2020. This is same the truck. Same truck. So the, they just came out with the recently with this pickup truck. This right. is the new body style. I know. It will probably be later in the summer, probably. Yeah. So the 20s ain't out yet for Dodge? Mm -hmm. This is the new body style. Yeah, the Chevy will be out in two weeks, three weeks. Huh. When does the new one come out? The 2020? When does the 2020 come out? This is the new okay, body yeah, style. Okay, yeah, 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 but it will be, but for next year, it will be like the 2020. But this is just came out, like the new body style with the 2019. I hope, I know, but I, 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 I have mine for over a year. Yeah, probably, I probably would be later by this year. I'm a 15 mile one. Dude, this shit is a beauty. I gotta switch, I gotta switch. I'll tell you, I, I said I'd never own a Dodge. I'm definitely, how you turn that fan down? The fan controller right here. Oh, yeah. oh do you got the lift kit? Here's what I want to see. Hold on. Get yeah, everything here. I know people here. Oh, this is for the volume up. Yeah, volume. And this one. Yep. Two systems. The 12 inch screen. You can't order it for me? I can. It has to be white. Yep, I can get you one. It got to be white, dually, um, so double moon roof. It comes with a double or no? It does. How come this one don't got it? It's an option. Oh, it's, it's an option? Time, yeah, sometimes we add it to it, sometimes we won't. All right, let's go in. I'll give you a deposit real quick. Yep. Sure. I'll be right there with you in a second, right? All right. Episode 50. I'm happy to be around people that aren't like blood suckers or energy suckers. Um, I learned a lot from from episode one to episode 50. By the way, digital's here. <laughs> and, um, you know, you see people throughout the vlogs, how they just disappeared. And that's actually a good thing. Sometimes people just, you know, they traject you in the right direction. But sometimes they got to drop off and go to their destiny. You know, for me, you know, half of the people that was in my vlogs before, like, I outgrown them, you know. And you know, that's the thing where you're gonna go through life too. Like, don't, don't be sad. Don't try to ever salvage relationships that aren't worth saving anyway.
So just keep moving forward. And um, you'll see, man, life will take you on this beautiful ride. So yeah, sometimes people are just meant to drop off. You know, keep moving, keep progressing. Digital's vlogging, link in the description. Yeah. Follow my boy Digital. He'll be here two days a week at least. Yeah. And, you know. Um, it's, it's, better, it's better than not being here. Yeah, you know facts. I mean? That's and I can um, say that. You know, he's vlogging himself, so. You know, more power to him, boy. Let's, let's, let's get his numbers up too. Digital's down below. I want a, a, a 2019 or 2020 Ram 350. Now my 350 Ford, I'm not deciding to get fixed. You know what I mean? And I want to keep it on rims. I, I, this is going to be a workhorse. So I need, I got 150s and they're not strong enough to do what I want them to do. So I'm, gonna, I'm getting rid of a Rebel, I'm keeping a 150 and then I want to get a Cummings 350 to pull like, if I get a boat this year, I'll pull my boat, my jet skis. Um, I will be getting a water uh, front property this year. By the next summer, you'll see in a vlog, we'll be riding jet skis, riding my own boat. You know what I mean? So that's what I need the truck for. You know the feel. Tell me, do you know the feel? When you look up and you ain't got no ceiling. When you look down, you see them diamonds drip. Tell me, do you know the feel? Tell me, do you know the feel? When you look up and you ain't got no ceiling. When you look down, you see them diamonds drip. Okay. Tell me, do you know the feel? Tell me, do you know the feel? Looking up and see no stun. Looking down and see drip. Neck work for half a million. Niggas mad cause I'm living. On Instagram trying to kill him. But I'm too busy fucking bad bitches getting M's, nigga. I'm chilling. Twin sides at the same just keep going, see I'm gonna stop but I keep throwing If she fuck me right, she gon' get a check, I'ma bless like she sneezed on it Own me in the Hellcat, take your honey in the truck Damn, do you know the feeling? Damn, do you know the feeling? When you look up Yeah, this, this, this fucking clutch is get done Still got it, son he could, he could, he could nah. spin the wheel like this. Lucy, Lucy ain't got no whip game. He ain't got no whip game, Lucy. Oh man, you sad. <laughs> he ain't got no whip game. Is that my car? I don't even get it. <laughs> <laughs> he had to show him old, you mean, what the old heads do. <laughs> Dang, yo. Alright, so a lot of people always want to ask, like, what do I do for a living? Now, started um, as an app developer. So boom, I'm gonna run you backwards a little bit. All right. I worked as a pizza delivery driver five, a little over five years ago. Started as a pizza delivery driver. Um, I loved the place. It was called the Couch Tomato and Nanny Yunk. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but I worked at the Couch Tomato. I used to make five dollars an hour delivering pizza. Now, during that time delivering pizza. I always had big dreams. I always aspirated for bigger things than what I... I knew that it was something deep down inside of me that I had to be something bigger in life. Now, for you guys, that's all you got to do. It's pretty much just want more. Don't settle for less. And let me tell you something. I used to thank God every day for that job because it allowed me to not be in a workplace with a boss next to me. I can go and come as I please, go grab some pizza, leave. And I worked very, very hard. Now, the two owners that own it knows that I worked very hard for them. Um, and then I just wanted to believe it. It just wasn't for me. Um, I started buying and selling video games off Craigslist. Um, I did Craigslist. I did, um, you know, DH Gate. I also did, um, you know, ShopGoodwill.com. I did a lot of things. And, and one thing you gotta have, when 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 you don't care, when you're making, when you want to make money, you can't have. Like you can't give a fuck. Basically, you can't have like this this pride. All right, having pride is gonna set you back in life completely. All right, you go out there and you interact with people. Yo, I got this for sale. And if you don't got that that presence and you're embarrassed to what other people are gonna think about you, then you're you're not an entrepreneur. You will never be an entrepreneur. You have to go out there and you gotta pretty much put yourself on front street. Like, yo, this is what I got. Yo, this is what I want to do. Yo, you know. And that right there is going to set you so far in life because some people are really afraid to talk to other people. They're, and this, there's this big stigma in just urban cities. 
Detroit, Philadelphia, New York. That if you interact with people, and oh, you this is this nigga Joe. I ain't no Joe nigga. I can't listen. That's that's gonna cost you a lot in life. It's gonna cost you to shut doors that you always wanted open. All right, and then you're gonna be laying there dying with regret. Get out there and network with people. It ain't and. You know, just because one of your friends don't like that person doesn't mean you don't, you got to hate him. All right? Your, your friend could be judging him off of jealousy. It happens to me all the time. Like, nobody can really say that I've ever done anything to them. They just talk shit about me because of jealousy. And once I, once I figured out deep down inside that I wasn't about that life, about that street life, and I didn't want to be out there, like, shooting at people, and that, that's not me as a person. I'm not built for that shit. And once I, I, I talked to myself and I knew that I wasn't built for the streets and, and, and I kept it real with myself, then guess what? It is what it is. Now I'm happy with myself. Listen, I started standing in front of GameStops. GameStops giving you $75 in store credit for a, a, a PlayStation 3. That, that was the time PlayStation 3 was a shit. You know, PlayStation 3, they want to give you um, $75 for it. And then if they, if, they, if they offer you cash, they take 40% more. Nah, I'll give you the whole $75 for it. So then, yo, I, I'm telling you, I, start, I ended up with a bunch of consoles. I was selling, buying, and selling. I was buying and selling. It, it was good for me. Like, my boy Macho, he's like the head guy for, for my construction company. I met him because I used to sell him DVDs. That's how I met him. I ain't know if I tell you, Digital. I met him because I was selling him DVDs. Damn. That's how I met Mach. And then years later, we reconnected. I became a boss. I'm like, yo. I fuck with you. Come on, you coming to work with me? That's deep. You know what I'm saying? And this is a, this is a true story. You can ask Machi came to my one bedroom apartment and he used to buy D Machi came to my one bedroom apartment and he used to buy DVDs off me. And we got an interview him on that. And that's how I met him. And look, now he works for me, makes amazing money. And it's all about treating people good. Everybody who treated me good along the way is here or around me now. You know what I'm saying? The people that are mad at me and hate me are the people who treated me bad and didn't believe in me and didn't want nothing to do with me, all right? So, yes, I, I started selling pizza. I, I did this app for Cody. I started selling Cody, and once I seen that Cody was actually going downhill and people were taking DMCA takedown notices and it became a legality issue with movies and stuff, I left the shit alone. Now, I was selling thousands of fire sticks. I'm talking about a lot of fire sticks. And you know what I mean? I, it was during the era where everybody was doing it. And then, you know, I opened up this um, this hosting company, which I allowed, like, I sold Minecraft servers and, you know, Minecraft servers, servers for GTA, and that shit was booming. I made a lot of money off that. You know, they, <laughs> you check the taxes, I'll pay my taxes on that. <laughs> I'll pay my taxes on that. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, yeah, Hosting Bros is um, the, the name of the company. And you know what I mean? Like, just, just off of hosting, web hosting. Who would have known that I could have made that much money off web hosting? Um, it's incredible, guys. And then, you know, the real estate, people just assume. They see me, they think, they see a, a gold chain, they think that I'm just some ignorant quack. That's, you know, it's, that's not the case. I'm very, very articulate, and I, and I know what I want out of life. You know what I mean? I know that to keep trajecting myself forward, I can't keep taking steps backwards. I'm not going to sell no drugs. I'm not going to, if, if it's potentially land me in jail, I'm not doing it. If friends call me and be like, yo, I need a check, uh, no. I'm not writing you a check. That's called money laundering. I'm not doing any of that quack. If it's not legitimate business, then I don't want nothing to do with it. If you see, when I started on my vlogs off, I was around a million people. And then little by little, everybody started dropping off. Because you know, I grew them to a sense that where I want to go in life. They are not welcome. So they're not coming with me. Because their mindset yet is yet to be, you know what I'm saying? They were in the shallow waters. I took them to the deep end. They couldn't swim. And that's, that's life. So um, I've been reading a lot of articles and stuff about me. And it's, it's kind of funny. I, that's the reason why I never addressed the things. It's because, you know, like, I just came out of nowhere. And I'm going to start showing you pictures. It's because, you know, I'm going to show, show you pictures that I was broke too. You know, my, my very first vlog ever, ever. I, I did a vlog. This, now, this is a funny story real quick. Before, don't don't skip off the ads. Come right back. Now, <laughs> listen, I started vlogging 2015. I was broke, right? And I this was my passion. This was my dream. I put my dream down. 
And if I didn't put my dream down to pursue something, this would have never been a reality. I would have still been vlogging broke. All right? I put the camera down, and I waited till I got rich. I opened up this company. Everything started working. Everything started working. Manifested. All my dreams just manifested in front of me. And then, boom, here I am vlogging again. Life is incredible, all right? Life is incredible. Take this one. I'm going to always say this shit. Take this one shot you got. All right? Because at the end of the day, you only got one shot at this. The minute you shut that door, that door shut forever. All those old school rappers like Nelly. I don't mean to bring them up because Nelly was the, amazing. But you see how they had their window in life and they ran right through it and then everything died out for them. Even though, you know, they got to they gotta become business savvy towards the end of their career to still be relevant. But everybody gets a shot. And the minute you don't capitalize or you're stupid, you spend dumb, it's over for you. So, remember, every dog has his day. All right? And everybody gets a turn. So, but not everybody can be rich. But everybody can be successful. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be probably at where you want to be hundreds of millions. But you can be very successful in life. You know? And let me tell you. And, and successful doesn't equate by money. Happiness. Happiness. Once you're happy, you're successful already. Because at the end of the day, people think that all these material things can make you happy, and that's not the case. If you're happy, you're richer than the richest person in the world. Because chances are they're not happy. And a lot of times I wanted to kill myself. I wanted to harm myself. I, I, like, I, I, ha I had to wait till my brother died in order for me to stop being depressed. It sounds fucked up, but it's, like, I started realizing how, how fragile life is. So like, you know, it took God to take my brother away to really... It really hit me. Like, damn, you know what? Life is fragile. You know? And that's all I got to say. Peace out, guys. See you in the next one. Have a great day. I made myself sad, by the way. We out. Looking up and see no stunner. Looking down and see drip. Neck work for half a million. Niggas mad cause I'm living. On Instagram trying to kill him. But I'm too busy fucking bad bitches getting M's, nigga. I'm chilling. Twin sides had to sleep on it. New crib dropped three on it. Hit the club and just keep going. See, I'm going stop, but I keep throwing. If you